Hi kids, I'm glad that you came back for another reading today. You should see the really nice book that the birds have picked out for us. Oh, what do you have? What do you have? Oh, yay, yay, yay. Well, today we have Bear's Loose Tooth by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. From a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, crunch as Bear and his friends all nibbled on their lunch. Bear savored every bite. He gulped and he gobbled. Then there in his mouth, something wiggled and it wobbled. As Bear nibbled food, something moved when he chewed. It was Bear's loose tooth. Bear pointed in his mouth and he said, oh dear, my tooth feels funny. It's the one right here. Bear frowned and he worried, tears welled in his eyes. But how will I eat if my tooth says goodbye? Hare said, open wide. Then he looked inside and saw Bear's loose tooth. Mouse squeaked, don't fret, don't fuss. Look, see, a new tooth will grow where the old used to be. We'll help, said Wren. I know what to do. It's out with the old and in with the new. Wren perched on Bear's lip and he got a good grip on Bear's loose tooth. Wren pulled on the tooth with all of his might. Is it out, asked Bear? but it stayed stuck tight. I'm a bit too small for the job, said Wren. So Owl grabbed the tooth, but the tooth stayed in. Badger said, I'll try. And he gave a big pry on Bear's loose tooth. They all took a turn, but the tooth wouldn't budge. Then, Bear used his tongue and he gave a little nudge. His tooth wiggled to and fro. Then, what do you know? Bear's tooth fell out. Bear danced a big dance. He grinned a big grin. Bear held up his tooth and he showed all his friends. Bear looked in the mirror and he laughed at his smile. A new tooth would come, but it might take a while. That night in bed, right next to his head, lay Bear's loose tooth. While he slept and snored, a fairy fluttered in and she left berries where Bear's tooth had been. He woke in the morning and found the sweet treat. Bear's friends came for breakfast. They sat down to eat. Bear gulped and he gobbled and he felt something wobble. Uh-oh! Bear's loose tooth. That was the silliest book I have ever heard. He was pretty scared for a little while, but I knew he was going to get his tooth back. I like the part at the end where he loses another one. Yes, children, that was a very silly book. Let's all thank the birds for choosing this book for us today. Thank you, birds. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. We love knowledge. Well, kids, we'll see you again tomorrow for another book. We enjoyed having my celestial kids here. Have a good evening.